Hello, friends. And ask you to take a nice deep breath in. Big sigh. Ah. After breathing, come back to normal. Eyes open. I'm so thrilled to see you here today. Thank you for joining me. I'm Drake, and this is Touching the Edge. And this is the, uh, the, the intention of developing a positive relationship to the election, both coming to it and in the aftermath of it. Uh, I just want to bring up today a gentleman that I met one time who told me that he didn't have an accent. He said he didn't have an accent. I, and I asked him, well, what do you mean you don't have an accent? He goes, well, I don't have an accent. Other people have accents, but I don't. And I said to him, well, does that mean that you're the only one who doesn't have an accent? You know, his sense was that his speech pattern was the baseline. And that's kind of how a lot of us go through the world, acting as though it's only other people who are, are not the baseline, that other people are the other, not them. But the truth is, is that each of us is the central figure in every one of our, our play. Uh, none of us have an accent to ourselves. <clears throat> you know, this is um, something I think is important because I think it's important for us to understand that people are going to do what the average person from their background is doing. People are going to do what the average person from their background is doing. If you expect someone to do something that the average person from their background is not doing, that means you expect this person to not be average. You expect this person to be unusual, to be extraordinary. That's not really rational if you're talking about the average person. So my point is, is that it, to me, it's not so important that someone has issues. People are going to have issues. If you come from uh, an area that it has uh, tremendous poverty and a lot of drug and gang violence, people are going to be part of that until they learn a different way that feels better to them. We don't just know what to do. We try what feels right, and then we find what really works for us. If you have people who come from a, a misogynistic or a racist background, they're going to show those traits until they learn differently. My point, again, is not that you're in a place. The point is, is where are you working to get to? What's your intention? You can tell more about a person by what their true values are, but more than where they actually are at this point because they're going to keep moving towards those values. So let's remember, we all have an accent and we're all going to pick up traits from our background. Americans are going to act like Americans. Russians are going to act like Russians. Chinese are going to act like Chinese. It doesn't mean that we have to be lockstep from the groups that we come from because we can learn to do things differently and we can learn to respect each other mutually. So this election, by the way, is such a wonderful thing. It's not happening to us, it's happening for us because it's an opportunity for us to really evaluate what we are about. So I'm about improving. What are you about? I'm gonna ring the bell, I'm gonna ask you to listen carefully. Here we go. You know, my intention is to learn to be respectful. Uh, we all have to get support in that process because we don't necessarily understand it from our own perspective. I bring my hands in prayer position and I bow to you, whatever your background. Namaste. Thank you and have a wonderful day today.